We are working with farmers and ranchers to implement conservation projects on working ranches and row crop farms. Uh, one of the neat parts about my job is that I get inspired um, all the time by the different people that we work with um, and the, the different farmers and ranches that we work with. And one of the biggest times that I've had is working with John Stevens on his uh, slew um, and riparian uh, restoration project. Being fourth generation, obviously uh, it's been in the family for since the 1850s. And uh, even as a, a young boy, I can remember the pheasant hunts and the wildlife on the property. And that was a big growing up in my day to uh, come out and go with my uh, father and grandfather pheasant hunting. Uh, we have not been able to do that on this uh, farm for probably 25 years. Uh, a lot of the wildlife, not only uh, pheasants, but even the fox and things that came down this slough and uh, actually uh, drank uh, probably and lived in the area uh, have all gone now. And uh, w we feel like uh, bringing some more trees and some uh, grasses and uh, widening the sloughs will enhance the wildlife population in the area. We notice our soil movement, you know, throughout the winters. Uh, we also notice the, uh, into the water areas, uh, there is uh, more of a murky water going into the uh, drainage ditches than there was in the past and because we just don't have the uh, vegetation holding this uh, soil back. Well, if you can uh, imagine this slough uh, being just almost where you see the water uh, running now, it was probably uh, back down into 10 foot uh, narrow. And uh, we decided to open it back up and to give more plantings on the side. And uh, we just feel it, uh, it helps the water flow, it helps for uh, flood protection, but then it gives us an area that we can plant more uh, a native species back in the slough area. Uh, I might add, when I was a young kid uh, growing up, I used to come down to this area, and the banks all actually were more sloped like this. I can remember, and people, uh, different family members actually could walk right down to it. For some reason, in the la in 30 or 40 years, they just kind of uh, went back to a steep, narrow uh, slough and uh, mainly back to a, a drainage ditch, I would call it, instead of a slough and a wildlife uh, uh, conveyance through the property here. The cost is, we kind of figured that this ranch needs to uh, take in possibly $200 an acre. Uh, so if I lost uh, three acres, I've lost that amount of money in my farming scheme. But that's uh, fairly small uh, if we can get uh, more wildlife and plants and uh, even the siltation problems. Uh, that's very little in the whole scheme of things, I believe. Well, actually, it was uh, my son that uh, got interested in, of course, uh, he's an avid hunter and uh, thinking wildlife. Uh, he actually went to uh, both the RCD and uh, started asking around, is there some cost share and could we uh, maybe uh, get some help on uh, enhancing our slough systems. And I thought it was a good idea, so uh, carried it out further and it ended down that the Audubon Society takes on projects like this. And uh, it was just kind of a win-win for both of us. It was a thing where it gave you chills to, to be planting the project and be working on the project and have that landowner come out with their tractor and say, let's do this, let's do this together and have that be their cost share on the project. It wasn't us imposing something on them or saying, well, we're gonna make your dreams come true. Uh, we decided to do it together. And the result has been fantastic. And uh, we've actually got probably half a dozen or more other farmers inspired because of the quality of the work and what it looks like. But also, I think more because of the man the, in the family that did the project. And that, um, that goes a long way. Well, to my uh, neighbors and fellow farmers, uh, obviously they've been looking over the back fence uh, watching what's going on over here. And uh, I'm starting to get more and more questions of, what do you think, did it work? Is it working out for you? And uh, I have nothing to, uh, but to say positive about the situation. I don't think it cannot work. Uh, it helps the drainage, which most farmers are uh, 
worried about uh, draining off their property. Uh, is it helping the water quality? Yes, we're starting to see that already. And uh, as far as wildlife, it's going to take two or three years to see how they'll come back and, and uh, if we can go out on those pheasant hunts again.